while Dankwa was in prison, Busia was in the custody of the letters which were being read, written simultaneously in prison, which is a compendium of man's cruelty to man. At age 69, Dankwa was held in an isolated cell in the special block at Insawan prison. Treatment meted out to Dankwa was totally inhuman. Indeed, from Ghana's constitutional dispensation as laid down in 1969 through the work of men like Busia and Akufuado Etestra, no Ghanaian can be so treated again as at today. Busia published abroad that Dankwa suffered serious hypertension, hissing noises in his left ear, asthma, liver, heart attack, veins, blockage, cerebral strain, undernourishment, congestion of the chest, broken teeth, cough, etc., etc., duly documented and shared abroad. The world got to know and attention was drawn to Ghana while Ghanaians abroad began to wonder why such a man as Dankwa should suffer under such circumstances. The world was appalled to know through Busia's hard work that common air to breathe became a scarce commodity in the dungeon reserved for J.B. Dankwa. The letters contemporaneous, contemporaneously published to the world revealed how medical attention was refused to the patient. You cannot do this to a Ghanaian today because a habeas corpus will be issued and the court will compel by mandamus that you should be released. And that's the work of some people.